Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today we take a look at a new visual novel game called Seven Days, or the full title is Seven Days With You, The Most Precious Memory in Our Lives. This is, as it says on the story page, an all-ages occult mystery visual novel where all the heroines are dead. It's going to be released on December 13th, I'm playing it just before it comes out, and it's developed by Life Zero and published by Fruit Bat Factory. So the store page description reads, a couple of days before the summer holiday starts, Kanzaki Shuichi receives a cursed Blu-ray disc from one of his friends, and is possessed by a female ghost, which, when exercised, leaves behind the physical form of the female spectre. So that is quite a unique premise to a game, I think. Uh, let's start this up. Ding. Rip. Seven days. Even though summer break will be starting tomorrow, Clash has kept dragging on. Annoyed by this fact, I decided to spend homeroom as fast asleep as possible. <laughs> A wise man. A loud voice woke me up. How long did I sleep? Damn loud mouth. Probably Takahashi from class too. It really is. Ah, I figured the other guy has to be Kino... Kino Kunya. He must have pulled some prank or another again. Uh, cursed video? あんなもん信じてんの。それが本当だったんだ。お前も見てみろよ。おっと。危ないな。投げるなよ。くるな。くるな、さだこ。うわ。まあ、I <laughs> Hey, keep it down. People are trying to sleep here. Kinokuniya tossed a blue DVD case on the desk and sat down next to me. I gave the case a discerning look. Cursed video. <laughs> Is that really cursed? Looks way too cheap for that. What don't I know? Huh? You talking about the ring? Ma,よくある茶茶の話だよね。でもただの噂と違うのは実物がここにあるってこと。何？Kinokuniya <sighs> waved the DVD case around. Uh, excuse me, it's a Blu-ray. Seriously? Oh, magic. Are you gonna be okay? Okay, in the head, I mean. <laughs> it's not even a video, is it? It's on disc. <laughs> that sounds really dumb if you actually say it out loud. <laughs> Blu-ray? That's way too fucking modern for a curse. DVD deck just I say they can't touch me. Well, yeah, you can't. You can't play a Blu-ray on a DVD player. <laughs> huh? So you did try watching it? Ma, it's your name. They can't cut the car. I say, can't kill no other Takashi. You are still working at it all. Do I have like a computer or like an Xbox or a PS4 or something? <laughs> so is it the real thing? But you have a DVD player? No, 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 no. これが噂のディスクであることはほぼ疑ってない。信じるか信じないかはあなた次第ってやつだね。というわけで神崎。ワイフサイクリーピースマイルオフヨーフェイス。PS4持ってるね。今夜見てくれないこれ。I <笑> So let's have you watch it and break the disc right after. That'd be the perfect ending. 
いや実際俺だって見たいのは山々なんだけどうちにブルーレイを再生できる機会がなくてさ Your legs are shaking though Kinokuniya tried to suppress his wobbling knees with his hands, but that only made the trembling moose throughout his entire body. Why are you so insistent on this? Maybe he has watched it already and he needs to get somebody else to watch it within seven days. So, I can tell him now. He won't find out. Right. You seriously gonna believe in this bullshit? Let's take it. I mean, we have to. <laughs> oh my god, are you the demon? <laughs> yeah. I was walking back home together with Sai Renji Murasaki. We lived next to each other, so we were kind of childhood friends, so to speak. The reason we went to the same school was because we were too lazy to attend one that was too far from our homes. As such, we tended to walk back together from time to time. I didn't mention that I actually took the disc, though. Mm. I hadn't shown it to her yet. It may have just been because she lives in a temple, but some of the things she said had a mysterious underpinning to them. Hmm. Well, it is a cursed Blu-ray after all. Blu-ray? Hmm. Right? Why the hell would a cursed video be on a goddamn Blu-ray anyway? Blu-ray. Aoi. Yurei. That's. A joke, right? Mm -hmm. Damn, she's serious. So, oh, then Takahashi will die. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So, it's probably just porn anyway. Gachimuchi? What? <laughs> hey, don't Google weird shit when you barely know how to use the internet. <laughs> I feel like that's a joke that did not quite make it across in translation. <laughs> Hmm? Stop it. I told you I don't swing that way. Who, me? Murasaki silently nodded. Ha, <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore, Murasaki. We made it home before we knew it. Our houses were not only next to each other, but the windows of Murasaki's and my rooms faced one another too. Just for the record, I never tried to peek, and Murasaki kept her guard up around those kinds of things anyway. I'll tell you what was actually on that Blu-ray later. Mm. With that, I turned my back to her. Shuichi. Hmm? I'll let you know if I get possessed or anything. <laughs> She regarded me with an unusually serious look in her eyes. Marisaki showed little emotion on her face, but after knowing her for so many years, I'd learned how to read her expressions. Uh, okay, for sure. I closed my front door and leaned my back against them. She saw right through me. I've never been able to see ghosts. Not a trace of them. Because they don't exist. But in that regard, Marisaki is the exact opposite. Not only was she born in a temple, she spent her childhood making me jealous with all the stories she'd tell about the ghosts she met. Anyone else might have just thought of her as a weirdo, but I knew that wasn't it. I knew she had real powers. And since early childhood, that scared me. I don't think anyone could blame me for feeling that way. I saw her pointing at empty spaces, having conversations with something in the bathroom, and so on. These happenings unnerved my younger self so much I couldn't enter my own bathroom and end up wetting my bed more than normal. Mom still made fun of me for that, but it was all Murasaki's fault. She made me wet my bed. However, a certain event turned my fear into envy. A shonen manga about yokai. Its author, Mr. Hell, changed how I saw the world. The way I viewed Murasaki changed, in other words. I grew envious towards her, almost resentful even. So much so that I almost felt like gobbling her up. What? Well, maybe not that much. 
but I still wanted to see a ghost. I wanted to marry a sexy spirit. I mean, just how awesome would that be, right? I bet you could keep my beer cold for me. Aren't you in school? <laughs> Not like I could drink just yet. Hmm? Explosive boobs girlfriend 3D. <laughs> a girl exposing her giant breasts was printed on the cover. Ooh! <laughs> Clank! I threw the damn thing on the ground. It really is a goddamn porn video. And 3D. I'm almost curious. But I want what I want in 3D is not boobs, you bastards, but Sadako. Sadako 3D. Mom. Uh, I'm back. Tadaima. No. Mom leaned over to pick up the disc I threw on the ground. Ah, wait! Please, no. If I let her pick that up, she'll think of me as a big boob fetishist for the rest of my life. I have no choice. May victory go to the swiftest! Uh-oh. Swipe. The disc case had vanished from its location by the time my hand could reach it. Huh? That was fast. Uh... Mom froze on the spot. Only her eyes could move, and they traced up and down the surface of the disc cover. It felt almost like she started playing it in her mind. Uh, hey, that's enough. Mom? Oh, what? Mom pushed the disc case into my hands and left the house like a whirlwind. <laughs> Her, sc <laughs> Her scream drew further away into the distance. What's that supposed to mean? Was Dad into big breasts, too? Runs in the blood, I guess. Making an idiotic remark, I locked the door. Might as well head to my room instead of musing over weird revelations in the corridor. I gulped and pushed the explosive boobs girlfriend into my PS4. The notes on the screen inform me that this, this disc was a Blu-ray one. So it really was natural Blu-ray. Gotta hope this isn't too spooky. It's supposed to be in all ages. Nice, friendly visual novel. I still couldn't believe a cursed video could have possibly been recorded on a goddamn Blu-ray disc. I pushed the play button, my heart beating wildly in my chest. The video began playing. It's just a goddamn porn video after all! I jumped on my bed and began rolling around. My plans to become a demi-human are ruined! I'd assumed it was something worthy of the label beyond your wildest dreams. Yeah. The explosive booze movie still continued playing on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Damn, those boobs are amazing. <laughs> All ages, by the way. I'm okay with that. I ended up being absorbed by the riveting plot. <laughs> hey, there's little a man can do to resist explosive boobs, okay? Okay, it's gonna get spooky now. Huh? After suddenly rewinding, the scene resumed, with the artifacts and weird noise everywhere. The hell? That was the good part! Uh-oh. The explosive boobs disappeared from the screen, giving way to pure noise, both the visual and auditory kind. What the hell? Might as well turn it off for now. Picked up the controller. Hmm? The sound stopped and the screen turned black. I couldn't look away from the screen. I hadn't pushed anything on the controller yet. How'd it turn off all by itself? The PS4 seemed to still be working. Did that mean the video was still playing? Uh oh. After another noise, something new appeared on the screen. A well. An old, weathered well and six holes surrounding it. Whoa. <laughs> I suddenly noticed a black something coming from the disc slot of my PS4. Ah! Dead. Mm. 
phone. Huh? Seemed like I'd fallen asleep. It had gone dark outside. Light of spilling out, Murasaki glitched on my smartphone screen. Murasaki? It was unusual for her to call me at this time. Hello? Huh? No one was answering. Hello? Murasaki? Hey, what's up? Huh? What do you mean? That's right. What happened just then? I rubbed my eyes and looked around the room. Both my TV and the PS4 sat there in the darkness, as inconspicuous as ever. The video had stopped on that black screen. Both the TV and PS4 had turned off after that. Did I dream that? Uh, I, I was sleeping and I think I kind of had a weird dream, maybe. I tried watching the cursed video, but it was porn and... Huh? Shouldn't comment on the fact it was porn. Marisaki would usually have reacted in some way or another. It changed halfway through, though. Yeah, there was a, a well or something. And this weird, disgusting thing came out of it. Hmm? Murasaki suddenly addressed me in a serious voice. Oh my god. What? Hey, stop trying to scare me already. Her window? Alright, I could see her too now. Oh god, there's gonna be something behind him that's terrifying. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Say something. <laughs> oh right, she can see them. But maybe he he probably can now. Huh? What? I could barely make any sense out of the sentence she uttered. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually pretty creepy. Uh, I instinctively turned around anyway. Whoa. <laughs> Uh. I jumped out of my room and dashed down the stairs. It's kind of creepy that you can still hear her talking. Huh? Something caught my leg on the last step. Huh? I saw the thing begin descending from the top of the stairs. What the hell are you? My head hurt from the impact. I raised my face with my consciousness still hazy. Eek! They actually did really well of, like, making that a really spooky atmosphere. I, I was worried there was going to be, like, an actual jump scare or something. But yeah, they did actually make that pretty flippin' spooky. Thwack, thwack, thwack. What? I could hear a rhythmic thwacking sound coming from somewhere nearby. It's Marafuji or whatever her name is. Murasaki, that's the one. Ow. I opened my eyes to see Murasaki trying to slap me awake. Ow, it hurts, it hurts! She's still going. <laughs> Marisaki, stop it! <laughs> Who wouldn't be after being hit in the face? Thank goodness, were you trying to... Huh? I realized I was in the corridor on the first floor. Was I sleeping here? Excuse me. Huh? My head suddenly throbbed. It was that thing. Should I tell Murasaki about it? Wasn't the fact that I alone had that experience valuable to me? If I told everything to Murasaki, she'd probably figure it out on her own. But did I really want that? If I let this continue, I might experience something even more significant. I assume you keep silent. Probably. It's funny, like, the synopsis on the Steam page is basically a walkthrough for what you're supposed to do. <laughs> so I believe we have to tell Murasaki here. 
but then I might just be putting myself in danger for no reason. For this reason, I ended up deciding to tell her only the partial truth. Okay, I'm gonna have to leave the video there. That was a look at Seven Days. So basically, like, the rest of the synopsis says that uh, Murasaki expels the evil spirit with exorcism skills, um, but the ritual is only partially successful because it leaves behind the physical human form of the female specter. So it is basically his dream come true. He does get to live with a, a, a I don't know, a, a lady ghost, pretty much. I assume there's still a lot more to come after that if, like, basically... The events of the first half hour here are the first line of the synopsis on Steam, so I assume there's, there's a fair bit to come. Um, I don't actually know the price right now because I'm playing it before it comes out. Anyway, that was 7 Days. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!